I am working on a new project. This is a Cardassian Gala class starship. In this project, I wanted a little bit more realistic windows. In the last project, I always used emission shaders with a single color. They look great from a distance, but they are lacking details in close-up shots. You can apply a simple texture to the emission shader, but a changing point of view would reveal that little trick. In this project, when I zoom in, we can look through the windows into every room. After rotating the camera, it looks real. In solid view, every window is just a simple plane with an environment texture of a rectangular room. I switch to a new Blender project. Let's add a plane and rotate around the x-axis 90 degrees. I apply the rotation with Ctrl A all transforms. I add a new material and delete the principal BSDF. We need an environment texture node. I chose a simple rectangular room. This one looks nice. It contains a shelf and a door. And we need the parallax shader from the group menu. When I switch to rendered view and move the viewport around, it creates the illusion of a room. Let's tap into the node group. I have got this shader from Cedric Aguila's YouTube channel. And he got this shader from someone who built this in Unity. In this video, I will show not how to build this node group, but I link this video in the upper right corner. Cedric built this shader, but he doesn't explain anything. And I have no idea how this shader works, so we will focus on the improvements. When I rotate the plane in object mode, 45 degrees, we see that the image is distorted. It still considers the negative y-axis as front, but there is an easy fix. We can plug in a vector transform node from the vector menu and we have fixed this problem. I can rotate the plane further and the illusion is still working. The shader has another weakness. First I switch to edit mode and move the plane along the y-axis. And I set the pivot point to 3D cursor. The cursor is still located at the origin. Shift D to duplicate the plane and R45 to rotate 45 degrees. With Shift R I repeat the last operation until I completed a full circle. When I move around the object, we see that the shader does not work at all on faces at positive y-axis. And also every face not perpendicular to minus y is distorted. I will show you how to fix this in this video. I played around with some nodes and plugged a vector rotate node behind the vector transform. When we adjust the rotation angle to minus 45 degrees, the front face is distorted, but the next face with 45 degree rotation is correct. This means we need to calculate the rotation angle dependent on the normal vector of the face and the minus y axis. We use our well known formula, cosine alpha equals to the dot product of the vectors divided by the product of the length of the vectors. We start with a separator xyz and connect it with a normal. Add a combined xyz node and connect the x and y. We duplicate the combined xyz node and set the y to minus 1. Under converter, choose vector math and set the operation to dot product. Connect the combined nodes with the dot product. Duplicate the vector math and set it to length. We only need to calculate the length of our normal vector since the length of the other vector is already 1. Add a math node and set it to divide and divide the dot product by the length. Duplicate the math node and set it to arcus cosine. Duplicate the math node once again and set it to multiply. Multiply the result of arcus cosine with minus 1 and plug it into the angle of a vector rotate. When I rotate around our object, we see the faces on the right are correct, 
but the three faces on the left don't work. I change the multiplication to 1 and now the faces on the left are correct, but the three on the right don't work. So all we need to do is to multiply with minus 1 once again when we are on the faces on the left. Let's make some space for our correction. Duplicate the math node three times. Set the last to add and connect it to the angle of the input of the vector rotate node. Connect the multiply nodes with the add and split the results of the multiply with minus one to the new multiply nodes. Duplicate the separator xyz node and connect it with a normal. Duplicate a math node and set it to less than. Set the threshold to zero. If the x part is less than zero, the result must be multiplied with minus one. Duplicate the less than node and set it to greater than. Connect the x output with a greater than and the result with a lower multiply node. When I rotate around the object, everything looks good except the face facing the positive y-axis. This is because we distinguish between less or greater than zero, but this face is exactly zero. To fix this, we set the threshold of greater than to minus 0 0.001. Using this parallax shader, we have made the windows more realistic than a simple flat texture. I rendered three different rooms and randomly assigned one of the three shaders to each window. Another application of this shader could be a city scene and the rooms of the buildings. And that's all for this video and I see you in the next one.